How to build a Blackgate Sweet P 5 inch gauge locomotive. This is part 19. Experimenting with the steam piping to the cylinders. I think that some modification is in order to improve the steam connections from the smoke box, as the current arrangement looks bad and it is very clumsy and overscale. To figure out how I'm going to pipe the cylinders, I need to attach the cylinders temporarily to the frames. This is only a temporary measure and I've only used a couple of bolts on each cylinder. Most of this engine is very well made, but I don't think that the original builder was responsible for the mess that the engine is in. This engine was delivered to me by the previous owner and I bought it, but I knew exactly what I was buying. I do have a bit of experience in this sort of thing. Once again I will repeat from a previous episode, the reason for buying a part finished engine is twofold. Firstly, the frames and the cylinders and other parts are in quite good condition, apart from the ports at the top of the cylinders. Other parts will go straight in the bin. The second reason for buying a part finished engine, well, I think there are probably three reasons, but anyway, the second reason for buying a part finished engine. It saves going all the way through the build, including the very simple parts that really don't need much tuition. And the third reason is, not only am I showing how to build a sweet pea, I'm showing how to repair one as well. In this episode, I'm going to look at a potential problem. The steam inlet to the steam chest is drilled in the wrong place, and I've currently fitted a 3 8 by 32 union cone into the hole that I threaded. But I can't use this, 3 8 by 32 is for quarter inch pipe, but I need to use 5 16 of an inch diameter pipe for the main steam inlets to the steam chest. Why can't I use quarter inch pipe? Well, it won't pass enough steam to operate the engine efficiently. I'm going to make an adapter flange that will screw into the 5 16 by 32 threads per inch hole. Then I will be able to bolt the piece of pipe in position, but not using this hideous union that sticks out of the smoke box. Once again, it is all a matter of scale. This is a model of quite a small locomotive. It's a narrow gauge locomotive. And if you look at the size of the union on the smoke box, it's gigantic. I don't have a pipe bender that will bend 5 16 pipe where I want it to go for this job. If I use this existing arrangement, then the steam pipes to the cylinders would look like two cartoon question marks right at the front of the engine. And also the pipe will stick out quite a lot more than you see here. I'm going to do it using a different method. I tried some test bending using my pipe bender and this was very unsuccessful. As you can see, I cannot get the angles right at all. Before anyone writes in, I am aware of pipe bending springs, filling it with solder or sand or even ice. I've been doing these sort of jobs for quite a long time. I'm not going to mess about with this and it wouldn't look good anyway. I did persevere, particularly for the video, to show how difficult this was going to be. It really was an extremely difficult job, and I don't want to waste time on things like this, so I'm going to do it in a different way. What makes matters worse is the length of the adapter that's fitted into the smoke box. Don't forget there's a union nut and cone to go onto this before you can start the bend. It's just impossible. Well, not impossible, but pointless. On small locomotives, I never use BSP fittings. BSP stands for British Standard Pipe and they're fine for the full size, and they're OK for general plumbing fittings. This is what happened to the piece of pipe when I fitted it into the pipe bender in the wrong groove. It ended up looking a bit like a cobra. If I decided to use these fittings, which I'm definitely not going to do, I would have to switch the steam chest covers around so I had a flat surface on the top, and here I could drill a hole in the centre, fit a flange, and that would work quite well but it still looks extremely ugly and totally unfit for purpose, just like a girlfriend I used to know many years ago. Turning the steam chest covers over is not a good idea because the holes don't line up, so I went back to plan A. I don't know whether this is the right or wrong way for the steam chest cover to be machined. Is this the top or should it have been built with this cavity on the inside? I thought it would be a good idea at this stage to illustrate how ridiculous the bend would be by substituting a pipe cleaner for the piece of pipe. In my opinion, the way that I'm going to do it should look a lot better than this. 
Using a felt-tip pen, I put an eye and a mouth on the piece of pipe that looks like a cobra to illustrate the point. If I want to be picky, there are not enough rivets around the smoke box. I can live with that, but not the two massive nuts sticking out of each side of the smoke box. To make removal of these fittings easier, I squirted them with some three-in-one oil. Then I got to work with my Barco spanner, which was difficult to use in this confined space, and plus it just rotated the fitting. I held the external part of the fitting with a pipe wrench and used a socket, and this removed the nuts very quickly. Here's what I propose to do. First of all, I'm going to make a flange that fits into the steam chest, and another flange that fits on the pipe, and then I'm going to make a special fitting that goes through into the smoke box. I'll show how I do this in a future episode. This clip shows that the pipe will still need to be bent to fit in the smoke box, but nowhere near the stupid question mark shape. In this clip I'm just taking some test measurements to find out that the hole in the centre is not exactly in the centre, but it's near enough for rock and roll. It's OK, I'm just being picky. Here's a better angle to show how the steam pipe will eventually look, well, approximately like this. And there will of course be an identical pipe at the other side. The holes in the smoke box are a bit rough, so what I'm doing here is using a round file just to clean them up, deburr them and make them look better. In my opinion, there is no excuse in doing the job badly. It's just as easy to do the job properly. I cleaned up both of the holes in the side of the smoke box, but have only shown one side. Yes, that is a good bit better. I can push the pipe through the hole without fear of lacerating my finger on the jagged edges of the hole that were there before I filed them off. There's not a great deal more that I can say about this job. What I'm going to do next is perform a hydraulic test on the boiler to see where it's leaking, and then hopefully fix it. That's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.